Mm. Good morning. I'm Steve Jobs. I'd like to welcome you to Open Step Days at Object World. We've uh, really enjoyed putting this together with OMG, and uh, we hope you enjoy the tracks today. We're also having a party, the uh, OMG Open Step Party, tomorrow night at the Center for, for Performing Arts across the street. We hope you can come. And we got a really fun day today for you. Uh, how many of you saw the billboard coming into town? Any of you? Isn't that great? Um, and after this talk at uh, 9.45, there is a second keynote on Open Step. And at 11 o'clock, there is a third keynote on web objects. So I hope you can stay around for those. They'll be quite, quite good. So we got a lot of exciting stuff to cover today. Um, and what we'd like to do is talk a little bit about the past and the present and spend most of our time on the future. We've got a ton of new products coming out uh, that we want to take you through today. So the past. The past for us uh, is uh, 1994. 1994 was our first year as a software company, and we were extremely pleased with, with how well we did. We did $50 million in revenues, and uh, we managed to become profitable. We did a lot of, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know some of the people clapping are our shareholders in the audience. <laughs> um, we, we were able to ship a lot of new products and initiate a lot of new programs last year, but the one I think is the most strategic of all is that we really established a, a major effort in professional services because we realized that technology alone was not the most effective route to inject this into our customers, that if we could supply some, some technology transfer, that would go a long way. And we became the largest object supplier in the world, um, a position that we, uh, we really appreciate. Now, let's take a look at the present. The present for us is the first half of 1995. In the first half of this year, we have completely refreshed our entire product line. Uh, actually starting in December of last year with Next Step 3.3 and carried on through uh, today. We've completely refreshed every product we have. We're not public, so we don't release numbers except on an annual basis, but we have exceeded our revenue and profit plans for the first half, and we're very, very happy with how the business is going. It's growing very nicely. We've added some really wonderful mainstream new customers to the list. Uh, we grew our consulting business, this technology transfer consulting business, 400% from January uh, through the first half of this year, and we have remained the largest object supplier. Let's take a look at a few of these in detail. Uh, on the product side, uh, we shipped Next Step 3.3 for Intel in December. We shipped it for all the RISC platforms uh, in first quarter. We shipped Next Step 3.3J in second quarter on all four platforms, carrying all of that into Kanji. We shipped Next Step Developer 3.3 on all four platforms. Uh, and we updated our enterprise object framework, which is the most uh, profound piece of new technology we've shipped in several years. All of our major customers are using it, as well as our portable distributed objects technology, primarily adding support for digital Unix so that you can run next step objects on all servers from digital, as well as all servers from HP and Sun. So we've been up to a lot in the product space. Customers. Uh, we've got a very long list of customers. Uh, we really love them. And uh, they. They sometimes give us a lot of hassle about how our products can be better, which is what we love, so we can go make them better for them. And uh, we're very, very close to these folks. Now, I couldn't list them all, but I pulled a handful and just threw some in alphabetical order. On this list, uh, British Telecom uh, is a new customer. On this list, uh, Fidelity is a new customer. Uh, Merrill Lynch is a relatively new customer. On this list, uh, NTT is a relatively new customer, Walt Disney is a relatively new customer. So this is just a sampling, but a very, very blue chip customer list. And we're very, very uh, privileged to be working with these folks. And then object experts. Um, this is our, we have three parts to our professional services. We have training and education. We have support. And we have object experts. And object experts are our consulting organization that uh, go on site with customers to help them train their people, architect their core objects. Uh, and their applications, and of course, write some of those core objects if needed. And we've grown this group from four to 21 people so far this year. Uh, I expect that it will 
go out somewhere in the 40s by the end of the year, and I suspect it will hit 100 people sometime next year. We are absolutely moving into the consultative selling mode, uh, following in the footsteps of probably uh, Oracle would be the best example. And these folks do technology transfer. They're a direct pipeline to Next's engineering so that when we have customers doing very state-of-the-art stuff, they can get very state-of-the-art information. And they really become a key component, component of success uh, for a lot of projects that are customers. Lastly, uh, <clears throat> Software Magazine uh, ranked the top 100 software companies early this year based on last year's results. And in our first year as a software company, we were a third of the way up the list. We're the 67th largest software company in the world. And based on last year's results, in terms of growth rate, we were the fastest growing of this list. So we're very pleased with that, too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now we want to spend some time on the future. Where are we going? We're going to show you three of our major directions today. And we've got a bunch of demos. Uh, if everything works, it, uh, it should be pretty enlightening for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> the first one is OpenStep. Uh, we announced the OpenStep initiative uh, a few years ago. And OpenStep was a realization that what our real jewel was was our object layer, not our complete stack of hardware and operating systems and object layers. So if we could just break that object layer out and run it on popular operating systems, a lot more people would want to buy it. And we've been, <clears throat> we've been at that work for the last few years, and it will be shipping uh, in the first half of next year. And OpenStep has a lot of partners, Hewlett Packard, Sun, Digital, each of them doing OpenStep work. Uh, Sun has announced their schedules. They will also be shipping around the end of this year to early next year. Others will be announcing their schedules shortly. But I think the thing that has captured most people's imagination is putting OpenStep on Windows. And I think a lot of folks have thought we were just, uh, it was pure vaporware. And what we're going to do is show you that running today. OpenStep for Windows runs on Windows NT and Windows 95. It has Windows look and feel. We made that decision very early on that although we think we know a little bit about user interfaces, when we're going into the Windows world, we have to be an excellent Windows citizen both on look and feel and on interoperability with all the Windows standards, like print panels, save panels, full OLAY integration. Matter of fact, I think we'll be one of the best OLAY citizens in the world. And so this product is running. We're going to show it to you today running on Windows NT. <coughs> it is going into alpha next quarter. It will be available with the Unix versions of OpenStep in an alpha release next quarter, in a beta release in Q1 which should be a very good beta release, and it will ship in Q2 of next year. And what I'd like to do now is just give you a very simple demonstration. This is code out of engineering with a lot of debug code in it, so don't take it too seriously, literally. But uh, let's see what we got here. I've got myself a Hewlett Packard Vectra running NT here. And I'm just going to do two things. One, I'm going to run a little simple draw document. As you can see, this is total Windows look and feel. Uh, here's the program manager. And uh, here's my draw document coming up. And I've got uh, a simple Next logo on here, you know, a Hewlett Packard logo, a Sun logo. Uh, matter of fact, let me, go to, uh, let me go down here to the file manager. And I can just grab something like a Next logo EPS and drop it on. Ooh color map problems. Well, there we go. And I've got a Next logo, and I can resize it here and move it around and do all those nice things. So you get the idea. This is uh, obviously the demo that we didn't put the most work into. But uh, here's Draw running on Windows NT with all your nice little Windows doodads uh, hanging around. We, can, uh, we have Windows menus up here, by the way, on our Draw document. So we can bring up an inspector, potentially. There's a line inspector. We can bring up a. Uh, color panel here. So here we are selecting colors. You know. <clears throat> uh, we can bring up a font panel, et cetera, et cetera. So you get the idea. This is, uh, we are really running uh, Windows here, and we are really running draw 